Welcome students. Today we will solve problem number two on kinematics of rigid bodies. So let us start today's lecture. So let us read the statement first. A wheel increases its speed from 45 rpm to 90 rpm in 30 seconds. Find a part angular acceleration of the wheel b part number of revolutions made by the wheel in these 30 seconds so we are given one wheel over here and uh, initially this wheel was revolving at 45 rpms but in 30 seconds its speed is doubled to 90 rpms and in the first part we are asked to find angular acceleration of the wheel and we have to find number of revolutions made by the wheel in these 30 seconds so let us see what we are given in the question we are given initial angular velocity that is omega naught equal to 45 revolutions per minute so let us see how we can convert this into radian per second. We know one revolution per second is equal to 2 pi radian per second. And we have to convert this into radian per second which is in terms of rpm. So let us first convert this into revolution per second. So you have to divide this by 60. So we will say if one revolution per second is equal to 2 pi radian per second then 45 divided by 60 revolution per second will be equal to 2 pi into 45 into 60 is equal to 1.5 pi radian per second. So we have found that initial velocity which is given to us in terms of rpm 45 rpm is equal to 1.5 pi radian per second. Now the next value given to us is related to the final angular velocity which is omega equal to 90 revolutions per minute and with the similar steps we have to convert this into radian per second so that will be equal to 3 pi radian per second so along with these two values we are also given time that is 30 seconds now we have to find angular acceleration of the wheel that is alpha and we know this is a uniformly accelerated motion. So these three equations are applicable to this motion. These are omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. Theta is equal to omega naught plus half alpha t square. Omega square minus omega naught square is equal to two alpha theta. Now let us see which equation we can apply to find this unknown which is angular acceleration of the wheel. Now we have initial angular velocity omega naught, we have final angular velocity omega and we have time and we have to find alpha. It means this equation we can use. So let us apply this equation omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t. Let us put the values of initial angular velocity omega naught as 1.5 pi and the value of final angular velocity omega as 3 pi and time given to us as 30 seconds so from here we will get value of alpha as 0.157 radian per second square so we have found the answer of the first part now we will find b part in b part we have to find number of revolutions made by the wheel in 30 seconds now let us see which equation we can use for this. Now we have two equations over here in which we have theta. And we can use both the equations because in this equation we need final angular velocity, initial angular velocity, angular acceleration, these values we have in this quotient. And for this equation we need initial angular velocity, angular acceleration and time. So these values we have so it means these two equations we can use in order to find theta so let us use the second equation theta is equal to omega naught t plus half alpha t square 
so omega naught is 1.5 pi alpha we have calculated as 0 0.157 and t is 30 seconds so let us put these values so we'll get theta equal to 1.5 pi into 30 plus half into 0.157 into 30 square so from here we'll get theta as 211.95 radian but we have to answer in revolutions so we have to divide this value by 2 pi and we will get revolutions as 33.75 so we have got the answer of the b part also and i hope this question is clear to you thank you very much